Hey, by the way, I was I was just going to ask you something. Okay. What were we just talking? I have no memory anymore. What were we just talking about? <laughs> you think you were the one smoking pot? I know. Oh, don't even get them going. <laughs> no, you know what? I only got like I only got like ten emails, and I know there's a ton of people who smoke weed who listen to this. So most people followed the rules, mm-hmm. which was you know was basically uh, you know. Don't take the podcast seriously. Don't right. name any names. All of that shit. Yeah. But no, I had a bunch of people. Uh, yeah. They thought I was on some self righteous thing because I haven't drank since October. Even though I'm a, I'm a self admitted oh. booze bag, and even though I said on the podcast, I said I there's nothing wrong with smoking weed. I don't give a shit if you smoke more of it. Right. But my point is, stop acting like it's this like uh, what is the fucking word? Harmless. Not harmless, just like there's no side effects. Like right, right, right. Like yeah. they, there's all this. There's like this is the shit that's out there about weed. That the, it's it's not addictive. Mm-hmm. I drive better when I'm on it. How is that? I don't know, dude. It's like everything's in focus, man. Yeah. They hate that voice. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, potheads, pot man. It's like when they <laughs> drive down the street, man, it's just like not only are you focused on the road, you're taken in nature. <laughs> like all that shit and act like it's the answer to the, all the universe's fucking problems. That shit. That's all I was talking about. I understand that someone, the same way someone can – you know, enjoy getting fucked up, drinking booze, mm-hmm. and not be an alcoholic, have it under control. But every once in a while, you know, they go out and get ripped up on the weekend. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. And it also has to do with your age, too. If you're in your fucking 20s, you're still getting blasted Friday, Saturday night. That's fine. You know, but you just put the kids to bed and you're hitting a fucking bong every <laughs> night. I mean, come on. You got an issue. I had, a, I had this dude, right? And that's the thing. This is like, maybe I'm jealous as, as a fucking booze bag here. It's just <laughs> nobody gives like... If you're fucking a pothead, people think it's funny. Right. There's just something that's considered funny about it. But, like, you watch, uh, like, Intervention. Mm-hmm. Okay? They have alcoholics. They they have people on meth, mm. cokeheads, heroin. They got everything. There's not been one fucking pothead. Because they don't do anything exciting when they're high. When you're is a that pothead, what it is? you don't do anything exciting. You sit around. You watch TV. You giggle. You eat. Right. And that, that's, that's, and, and then that's you know it. what happens? You go and to if movies, you're not, and if you're not you know? careful, two and a half decades goes by, right? And you're in your early forties, <laughs> going still sitting on the couch, yeah, still watching <laughs> fucking Snagglepuss, eating fucking Doritos. That's the thing. Yeah, that was not, a joke. It's not nearly as a yeah. It's not nearly as dramatic and exciting no, as someone who's on meth. There's no mothers against weed, man. <laughs> And there's, there's nobody – like when the cops pull you over, there's no weed breathalyzer. You can be fucking baked out of your mind. What can they do to you? They don't have any kind of roadside test to see if you're stoned? I remember they, they, they talked about doing something like that. But those – when they have those roadblocks set up at night, none of it's for weed. All it is is for fucking – it's for fucking booze. Right. Look, this is what kills me, okay? I got an email this week, all right? This guy tells me, he goes, you know, first of all, Mian, you know, you should read. I just do it because it annoys the I shit I laugh every him. time at that. I think it's um, funny. This guy goes, you know, you should probably read up a little bit on weed, man, before you go off on it. And he said that I can smoke three and a half grams of weed and be fully functional and drive a car or operate machinery. What is three? I don't know. I don't know. Look. Three and a half grams? I don't three know. Half, I don't know. I don't fucking a know. A joint? Let's just say it is a joint, which okay. I think I think it's a little more than that. Okay. All right. Let's just say it is that. Right. You smoke a joint, you're fucking high. You're, you're high. not you're not fully functional. He's confusing his tolerance with being fully functional. Fully functional is getting eight hours sleep, you wake up stone sober. And even if you want to get to the letter of the law, it's like three nights in a row of eight hours sleep, just in case you only got four nights uh, a few nights ago. For you to totally be one hundred percent and you're eating healthy, that's fully functional. All right, yeah. smoking three and a half grams of fucking weed, you're not fully functional. Yeah, you you might have an amazing you. tolerance, but you're not, you're not as good as, as the you at zero point zero. That's what I'm saying. Or, or like this this dude who sends me an email and he goes, yeah, people just you know they 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 definitely abuse weed. He goes, but they're not like me where he goes, I just I just you know, uh, you know I pack a bowl every night before I go to bed, take a couple of puffs, and then I go to sleep. This dude does that every fucking night. Now, what is the point of that? If you're just going to smoke and then go to sleep, 
Now, I might be ignorant, but to point? me, it sounds like he's using it as like this sedative, like this right, sleep like aid. Right, like instead of uh, Ambien or something. Or maybe it's just his way to unwind. I don't know. That seemed every night, though. Which is fine. But it goes back to my point where if I had a couple, I'd have to drink probably like, um, like a couple of beers to get like, what probably feels like, you know, a couple of puffs of weed, right? Yes? No? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. If I was doing that every night, if every night you were laying here in bed and I would go over here, hey, man, just going to have a couple of Budweiser's and I was sitting here with that fucking happy hat with the straws going in my mouth. Yeah. I'd be you, like, why are you doing this every night? Every night. What's 365 fucking days a year. I would say that to you if you were smoking weed every single night, too. Why do you feel the need to smoke weed every single night? Let me ask you this. What if I only, to argue the pothead side, what if I only had two beers? Versus? If, well, every night. I, well, I didn't drink at all. But on the weekends, I never got shit faced. Just every night before I went to bed, I drank two beers. I would think that that was weird. You would think it was weird? Yeah. That's, why, yeah. Are you, why are you so uptight, man? <laughs> <laughs> and I think smoking weed is great. I love to smoke weed. It's it's fun. But I think smoking every single day is a, a little excessive. And I feel like if you talk to anybody who used to smoke that frequently – and who doesn't anymore, I think they will tell you that they probably feel more motivated or less depressed or something. It does have right. effects on okay. you. Okay. That's all. I, I mean, I was definitely – I went over the top as always because that right. always shakes a few people out of the trees. And then they go, let me tell you something. And they, they fire up the emails, which fuels the podcast. Who's kidding who? But, like, I'm, see, that's, that's all I'm saying is that what I – the thing that I can't stand about fucking weed is, <laughs> is that people act like there's no consequences to smoking it. And if anything – it expands, uh, you know, like your creativity and all that type of shit. I think it's like anything. Maybe initially it does, but after a while, or maybe if you do it within fucking reason, yes. But I've seen, you know, yeah, up well, close and personal with uh, nameless fucking people. I've watched, you know, I told that story of, of what's his face, who I'm not going to say who, who fucking hit the dude with the car at work because he thought. <laughs> I thought he had it in neutral, but he had it in gear, and he started – he hit the guy in the fucking head. Yeah. And, and he he's still – yeah, and yeah. still, he's going, dude, the weed isn't the problem. And it's just – and he gets high every fucking day. I remember one time we went on a road trip just to fuck with him, right? We were driving on this road trip, and he, he goes to, you know, to break out his fucking shit, right? And we go, no, 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 dude, you can't. You can't – it's a rental car. You can't smoke. And he goes, all right, we'll pull over, pull over. I'm like, dude, we're not pulling over. We're not pulling over. And you're not smoking on this trip. Dude, the fucking panic that he went in. He's like, dude, 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 fucking let me out. Let me out then. I'm done. I'm not going on this road trip. He absolutely lost his fucking shit. Like, and it's be like, you know, if somebody said I, I, I can't drink. If I wasn't driving, I couldn't drink in the car. Dude, don't drink and drive. would be like, all right, dude, you know. Yeah, you fucking goddamn Mary. Fine, I won't. But this guy was like – it was like he was having a physical fucking – he was a panic attack right? if he couldn't smoke his fucking weed. Now, I'm not saying everybody who smokes weed is like that. But what I'm saying is that shit is never fucking reported the same way when I, when I break your ovaries about the whole uh, – like the women image on TV. Like they always show you guys as victims or accomplishing stuff, but they never show the gold digging whore. See, I had you right then until I attacked women. <laughs> yeah. I got to go. Oh, it was going good. All right. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by the podcast. Oh, no, sure, anytime. Yeah, you can you can get ready when you have to get here. Uh, yeah, but the... I don't want to. Like I said, I don't want to distract you. And plus, you start you picking heard? on me. Have you heard? That's the real reason. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. Stop acting what I'm like. What I'm doing here is any sort of an art. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, have have fun tonight. Okay. Thanks. Uh, all right. So back to the damp. So, all right. So all you po- uh, not all you all you potheads. Just the ten that fucking wrote me in, that wrote me in, that wrote into me. Sorry, the electrolytes again. Um, yeah, I was break, breaking. Can, can, can any pothead out there just be fucking honest with that and at least admit that maybe it isn't you? That at least you've had a fucking friend of yours who like discovered weed, liked it, really liked it, and then it just became their motivation when they got up. All right. This is, I mean, it's, it's fucking unreal to me that the third week in the row on the podcast, I have to act like this person, you know, exists to the world. Everybody knows this fucking guy. All right. But he's never talked about, and I want to know why none of these fucking burnouts are brought on to intervention. 
That's what I want them to see. Just some kid sitting there, past you know, in a fucking weed fog, couple of hacky sacks in the background, his dirty surfer shorts, just fucking toasted out of his fucking mind, and that's all he's been doing for five, six critical years in his twenties. Hasn't finished college. Wake and bake. That guy. Come on. Everybody, I'm sick of it. All that horse shit. It comes from the ground, man. It's fucking annoying. It's fucking annoying. But whatever. I guess I'm becoming too prudish on this podcast. This guy writes, hey, Bill, what the fuck happened? You bashing hot sluts on South Beach last week. You stopped drinking. You're talking shit about pot like you're fucking Alan Thickey. I didn't know. Does he talk shit about him? About pot, I mean, uh, you know, you know that life is a drag. For Christ's sake, you grew up in New England. You know what I'm talking about. Nine months of shitty weather. Your boss is a prick. All you have to look forward to is the weekend to let loose and unwind. I, dude, I totally get that. I totally get that. I work for myself, and I still want to get bombed out of my fucking tree. Uh, he says, quit talking shit about pot, would you? Pussy, drugs, and alcohol are all good things. Take care, pal. Yeah, dude, I totally agree with that shit, but you know what I'm saying. First of all, if I go down to South Beach and all I do is talk about how hot the women are, that will be informative, that will be obvious, and that will be one minute of the podcast. You know, everybody knows they're hot down there. But if I talk to them, if I say that they're whores and they look like a bunch of goddamn prostitutes walking down the street, that gives me like eight minutes of shit to go off on. All right. Jesus Christ, do I have to break down the whole process for you people? You haven't figured out. It's a very, you know, it's not a lot of levels to this podcast. You give me a topic, I fucking go off on it with very little knowledge. It annoys people who are informed on the subject, and then they send me emails in, and then I just yell at them, even if they've proven their point. It's basically it. All right. 